What's up, everybody? It's Easy Easy Street Gaming, and as you can tell, we are doing another winter update 2017. I say we because I'm joined by Nirvana. Hey, hey. And what we what I've done is Nerv doesn't know anything about the update, and we've kind of deliberately kept her kept her in the dark about everything. So I'm going to go overall with her now to get some of her unique responses to everything. <laughs> So first thing is we have a lot of we have a lot of balancing updates. The balancing updates are what we're going to go over in this video. There's other parts like the the clan, um, the, the the other parts. That we're, <laughs> we're not going to get into that right now. Yeah, we don't talk about parts. So first thing is we have buffs coming to all the tanks. All the tanks are getting substantial buffs. First thing is Gollum. I, he goes up like 300 hit points for the for max level and the two levels below that. So right away, Gollum. That's probably I think the biggest buff that he's ever got. Well, we need it because Town Hall Nine. He's not strong enough. Well, you got it now. Same thing with the Lava Hound. Lava Hound and Gollum both get big buffs. The Lava Hound's not quite as big as the as the Gollum, but I think he goes up like 200 hit points for max level. And again, it's the top three levels that get buffs for Gollum, that get buffs for the Lava Hound. And are they, are they cost more teeth? You know? Well, from what I understand, I don't know about we. I couldn't find any stats on the money as far as how much they cost. I did. They did have. They did have stats on the Barbarian King and Archer Queen. That I found those when I was making the website. And uh, but that just had level and how much it cost per level. It didn't have. It didn't have the upgrade cost for the lava hounds for the golem and anything like that so we don't have any of that we, i don't know we don't have we don't have that information yet we'll find that out pretty much right after uh, so next one giants same thing another tank their hit points go up and i don't have the actual stats in front of me but i think there's one up like 200 for the it's for max already, yeah, it's, no that stuff's not on the website yet because oh 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 it is on the website. I remember now because because on Clash of Clans blog, they actually have the specific numbers for all of the troops that were that they got that got above. So yes, we do have them on the website. I just don't have it in front of me. But it's www. Clash Clash .com. So Lava Hound, Gollum, Giants, all three get a major buff. Another now in, in Town Hall 11, they're is one more level added to the camps so they'll max out at level nine and so what that means is now I, we're not positive yet but that usually means that that's five more troop capacity for each one of the camps that means that town hall 11 will now be able to bring 260 troops wow so that's up 20 from the 240 that they can bring now so as if town hall 11's attack wasn't strong enough now we have a stronger golem, stronger lava hound, stronger giants. So they did the offense. So it's a bit. So far, it's it's a, a big boost to the offense, and I mean a big boost. So maybe the levens can start three stars. Well, that's we're, we're gonna get into that a little bit more now. Some more offensive troops. Uh, the barbarian king used to max out at forty-five, and now max out at fifty for level twelve for town hall eleven. So Town Hall 11 goes up to level 50 Barbarian King all those stats now basically what it is is that I, I think it was like it was 197,000 Dark Elixir to max out the King before mm. and that was at level 45 It's still 197 see the 197 or 198,000 to max him out in, in at level 50 and Then all of those costs went down a little bit from 50 on back down so they basically spread out the the max cost over 45 to, or 46 to 50, and then they they gave every all the rest of them all the way down to level eight barbarian king gets a little gets a little relief on that. So the, it all goes down a little bit from level eight all the way up to level 45. I have a question. Yeah. So does Town Hall 11 need to upgrade before they go to Town Hall 12? Is that what the 
game plan is for them. There's no, there's no Talent 12 yet. Oh. There's no Talent 12. Oh, that used to be there. No. That's not the big surprise. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so Ar Archer Queen, same as the Barbarian King. It goes from level 45 to level 50, which, um, really, for Town Hall 11 ma and Max Heroes, they are so strong already. If you have, if, if they, uh, if they're if, working right, right. If you have, if you have a Town Hall 11 and you're getting attacked by a Max Town Hall 11 that have Max Heroes, it is hard to stop the, the Archer Queen, especially if they're using a Queen Walk. And they know what they're doing. So, and now it's at level 45. This is five more levels, and I think it adds up to a, about 400 hit points for the queen. Mm. That's a lot. That's a bunch more hit points. Me too. Now, first, first nerf. The miners get a nerf. No. Yeah, miners get a nerf. They go from, and there's a reason for it now. Miners are my favorite. Well, <laughs> they go from five housing space up to six housing space. So now they cost more. Oh. Oh. They don't. They don't cost more per elixir. They don't lose. They don't lose anything in damage per second or anything like that. But now they cost six housing space instead of five. Like your balloons are five. Your hog riders are five. The, yeah, the, mi the, the, and the miners were five, and they all have. Believe it or not, miners and hog riders. If you look at their statistics, they look identical. They have very similar stats. They said miners go for everything. Except for miners go for everything. everything, right? So that's why those miners last a, a lot longer. Now the re now uh, we'll go into the reason why they had to add a housing space to the miners. Um, another this is another offensive boost, and they can make Town Hall 11 can get 24 more walls to max. And now this is the first time they've ever done that. Normally, when when we had the max Town Hall 10 walls, they gave them all to us at one time. So we could we could upgrade every wall we had one more level, and plus they gave us 25 new walls. I think it was 25. They don't give nothing. You have to buy every one of them. Well, you have to buy them. Yeah. <laughs> and those bricks cost a lot of money. And they're expensive, right? So, but now in Town Hall 11, they're not giving us more walls. They're just allowing you to upgrade more of them to to max. I believe the count's at 175 now, but don't quote me on that. I could be wrong on that. So walls go up. So now you see, you see a trend happening here. All of these offense, 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 offense. They're all going up. They're all getting going up. Now another nerf. Nerf to the crossbows. Crossbow max level crossbow level four level three crossbows. They're all going down. I think max crossbow does a hundred damage per second. It's going down to ninety. Nice. Um, the level four crossbows were doing ninety damage per second. It's going down to eighty. And the one that was doing 80 damage per second goes down to 70. So they're basically losing 10 damage per second per level. Okay, so that's a that's a huge nerf. Well, you know, for me, I have a Town Hall 9, and the Expos, if it has level 3, I won't attack it when I'm farming because I know that I'm not able to take the whole base when it's full, when, they have, when it's fully loaded, when it's level 3. I personally know the way I attack, I'm not able to do that. But on level two or level one, I can take them down. So, nerf to the expos. Now, this is what we're going to talk about for the rest of the video, though. <laughs> Town Hall Ten, the elite defense in Town Hall Ten is the Inferno Towers, and they've now changed the Inferno Towers to where you will be able to heal or use your healers or heal spell through the Inferno Tower beam. So. With the Inferno Towers, I know that being Town Hall 9, that you weren't really fond of attacking Town Hall 10s because of the Inferno Towers, right? <laughs> yeah, to say the least. To say the least. So, from what I understand, the intention for taking away the ability for the Inferno Towers to burn through the heal spells was to try to influence players that were not able to... Either A, they weren't mentally competent in, in wanting to tackle the Town Hall 10s. So they would not advance to Town Hall 10 themselves. Or they were trying to, to attack Town Hall 10s and were failing over and over. So, but you have to kind of, um, you, have to, you have to think of it like this in a way too. All of your advanced players, and there's so few of these players, the elite players, the, the players that are... Uh, that, that plan out their war attacks for an hour and a half before they attack. Uh, they talk about it with everyone in the clan. They may take pictures of the base and draw it out on, on whatever apps they use. These players are not going to like 
the ner the nerf to the Inferno Towers, they're not going to be able to defend their own base, and it's going to make it easier for everyone to three star. And you know, one of the things that that the elite players in Clash of Clans like about the game is how difficult it gets as you advance. So that difficulty is is the challenge that they go for, that that attracts a lot of these high end players. The problem is is that Supercell wants the game to be appealing to the masses and that 95% of the players are scared to death of the Inferno Towers and they'd rather not go to Town Hall 10 because of them. So that, that's that's their reasoning. Now they're going to make it easier to 3 star. That's why they buffed up the, the all of the troops, all the tanks are, are buffed. That's why they nerfed the, the Expos, they nerfed the Inferno Towers. So there's just tons more offensive capability. But see, there's something else that that I've thought of, and I, and I don't think Supercell is ignorant to any of this. I think they understand this much even, much better than we do. But there is another factor that I, I'm not sure if they considered, and that's the engineer problem that everyone has been dealing with. And because Inferno Towers had such high base weight, players that wanted to create engineered bases would not add Inferno Towers to the base. So that's how you get the bases with no Inferno Towers, with no Expos, with no Eagle Artillery. Well, I think this is going to really influence them to keep the Inferno Towers off their base now. Because now, it won't even do... It won't even have the defense that it offered before. Before, at least, if they were getting 3 star all the time in war, then they may end up putting the Inferno Towers on their base if they're Town Hall 10. Uh, but now I think that this is just going to influence more people to build their bases in an engineered manner. Because now there's no real incentive to put the Inferno Towers on your base to begin with. Because they're not doing that damage that they were doing before. Right, the but they're so strong that I don't think it's going to matter. I mean, yeah, you can use a heal spell, but how many heal spells are you going to bring? You're already bringing the, the jump and the and the, all the other ones. Well, that, that's now that's something else. One of the spells that are designed specifically for the Inferno Towers is the Freeze spell. It's designed to. I keep missing on that one. <laughs> yeah, it's it's designed your favorite spell, the free spell. It's designed mm -hmm. to freeze the inferno. That way, you don't have to use the warden's ability, or you don't have to use the archer queen ability right away. Uh, a lot of people will time it to where they'll they'll tackle the first inferno tower with the queen's ability or with the warden ability, and then tackle the second inferno tower with the freeze spell. Right. And that will that will give them the time to make it over there with the troops. Well, they won't have to use the free spells at all. And that, that spell may become almost obsolete because they'll be able to use heal spells instead of the free spells. So yeah, well, this will, it will bring up healing only so, to so much heal, and then it's over. Like, it doesn't heal them all the way most of the time. Okay, so let's say, for example, Hog Riders. Um, that's, a, that's a troop that the multi, the multi Inferno Towers would beat up Hog Riders extremely bad mm -hmm. especially if they had giant bombs all around the inferno towers well now you put a heal spell over the inferno towers the hog riders will just mow them down well you set your king up next to it that now that's true now but but <laughs> now you just have to start thinking outside the box that, and creating the phase right that's what people are going to have to do and, and matter of fact the last video i suggested that i'm think i'm going to move my heroes next to it and maybe even put healers in my clan castle to help heal my healers i mean heal my my heroes to combat this but so let's go back to the engineered thing though so now you have we already have players that aren't putting in front towers on the base because they're making engineered bases because of the base weight so there's gonna have to be some kind of consideration with a severely decreased base weight for the inferno towers because you can't keep the same base weight associated with the inferno towers if you're taking away one of their biggest functions so that's going to be, have to be another change made, and the and the war weight is such a guarded secret that it's hard for everyone to to get accurate statistics. I know that I have them on Clash Made Easy, the website, but then guys in the troop will go to other sources and they're talking about, oh, that that base weighs 61. Well, the base weight that we have on the site, you know, troops have 1,200 base weight, so it's hard to figure out exactly who's right and wrong. Because some of the base weight is in, in you know double digits, some of it, the one defense is is, is twenty thousand. Right. So it's hard. So there's a ton of inconsistencies in the information that's out there on this anyway. 
Would sixty one be a percentage of the total? Or? No, that's just the the weight, you know, and that's just another that's just another scoring system. I I'm, I'm not sure about the details, and really, I'm, that's not really my point. Point is that I want to make is that you take away some of the Inferno Towers capabilities, it's going to be less attractive for the experienced players that are building engineer bases already to try to make that transition to a full base. We're just now, like our clan, for example, we're just now pulling out the Eagle Artillery on all the Town Hall 11s because we keep getting mashed with engineer clans. So we find out that, okay, we are, we're all .5s. Supercell looks at .5s just like we're engineered, so we're getting engineer clans. So now we pull out the Eagle Artillery, so we're not engineered. Well, well, now you're going to have just more players not putting the Infernal Towers on their base because it doesn't offer the same defensive posture as it did before. And I think that's going to be a major problem because that's already a problem in the war community that, you know, they, they have leagues set up to where they don't have to fight a random clan because they don't want to deal with an engineer clan. And um, I think the engineer problem is this is just, it just might manifest into a much bigger problem now that Supercell has finally started to figure out how to combat the engineer problem i think they may have just dealt themselves a recipe for disaster to, to kind of reinstate the engineer clan all over again well i remember the same conversation when they stopped the triple bombs from killing hogs or the double bombs set up together oh that that hog riders will be able to three-star every base right i right, remember right. the same conversation and, and i don't think it's going to be i personally am not in town hall 10 However, I'm not influenced to still hit any of them, <laughs> even with the even with the nervous. Not it hasn't talked me into it, not whatsoever. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, I thought that your perspective on it was, was consistent with a lot of players. There's a lot of players that won't advance to Town Hall 10, right? Because of the Inferno Towers, right? I want, in that and the I can't get the heroes at 15 and <laughs> well the cost of the heroes now the cost of the of the royals have gone down so that should help people on that respect as well and just the offense now a point I made in the last video and I think it's a it's a valuable point we build bases and the opponent attacks our bases but we're not actually playing while they're attacking they're attacking us right and so now maybe our, our bases won't be able to defend as well sure but because the offense is so much stronger, we, we are all going to three-star more, which every time you three-star, it makes you happy. So you're going to have a lot more happy clashes. So joy in. Yeah, so because you, you're just going to three-star a lot more. So it, But what it also does, though, is it takes the level of, uh, of um, complexity out of the top end of the game. And for all the adults playing that are 45 and 50 years old, you know, anyone that's over 18 that's, that's into the game, for the technical parts of it, for how complex it is, and for how different all the bases can be based on how you set everything up, you've kind of taken away a layer of complexity when you when you simplify one of the iconic defenses in the game. Well, anytime you simplify anything iconic, it's going to be <laughs> difficult. That's such great words. But um, I personally think that it's going to be a dynamic that we need. We need people to start thinking again. We need... I, I see, I see an area where people are just going by what the web shows. They're copying bases off the web. They're, they're doing everything that is easy. But this is going to take another level and say, look, you've got to think outside the box. You're going to have to... And it, and it is a strategic game. You have to be strategy, strategy, strategy all the time. Well, maybe uh, maybe you got a point. Maybe it's instead of thinking that it's going to be so much easier to three-star and that it's making the game easier, maybe we could look at it through the perspective of it's going to be harder to, to play defense, so we have to focus more on defense and build better bases under this new format. I really didn't understand how to attack until I built a base. That's true. Well, I mean, for, for me, I build bases, I mean, all the time. I know, like, and I make sure not to let you build my bases <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> Sometimes you do. <laughs> so that, that's something else. We're gonna, people are going to have to start building more bases. They're going to have to start building, uh, rebuilding the Town Hall 11s, rebuilding the Town Hall 10s to try to fit into this new format and uh, like I mentioned in the last video it's not the end of the world don't quit because uh, because of this change because if Supercell sees that it doesn't work right they will change back yeah. and this is something that I thought of before too well because of the changes they may get a lot of people they may get a lot of people to put the Infernal Towers on their base now let's say if they lower the base weight to the Infernal Towers down below 
uh, below wizard towers, f for example. Well, at that point, that might influence everyone that has an engineered client, uh, engineered base to put the infernal towers on the base because now that now it has real low base weight. And it's not going to affect their war. And it and, and it won't affect their lineup, their their place in the lineup. And then, uh, about a month later, they said, "Okay, the infernal tower thing didn't work. We're switching it back." But all the players that put the infernal towers on their base, they can't pull it off. Right. So now everyone that they wanted to have the infernal towers on the base in the first place, they're out there on the base. And the eagles are out there, and everything's out there. So that's what they're trying to go for. They want you to use everything. <laughs> they want it to be even and use everything. With all the new walls, that's going to put a lot of base weight too. Well, the walls, we know from our clan that walls make a huge difference. We have a couple guys in the clan that don't have any of the elite defenses, no Inferno Towers, no Eagle Artillery, and it's very hard to three-star them still because they have max walls. Right. So all that plays into it. So that's that's kind of what I wanted to cover. My my, my concerns were, first of all, uh, I'm enthusiastic about it because I think that at first everyone's going to three-star more. It's going to be a lot more offensive-minded game, and... Uh, what we're going to have to do to, to, to win wars is to redesign our bases to try to fit into the new format and then in the new um, AI of the of the Inferno Towers and you can now heal through them so we're gonna have to readjust our bases and if we whoever does it best will win the wars because they will be able to three star and the other guy won't now as far as dip attacks I think that Town Hall 11s are gonna have an easier time three starring Town Hall 10s especially with buffed out tanks all over the place all the tanks are buffed now um, that's good because really they were not strong enough for Town Hall 9 to go anywhere up well right now that's that's part of the problem is that you have let's say if you have max Town Hall 9 Gollum and they run into a Town Hall 10 and if the go and if it's on single target mode those infernal towers split that Gollum in seconds mm -hmm. so now it, now it, it can still do that in single target mode and you're gonna see a lot more single target mode this 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 defense is going to be redefined as a single target defense. And I might go from looking for dead bases to looking for... <laughs> for Town Hall 10s? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think people are going to be picking on Town Hall 10s for a while. <laughs> so that's that's my concern. Uh, my, my concern is that it, it may be too easy on offense. We'll have to see. I like offense. Um, people will have to redesign their bases, and hopefully they're not going to think it's a burden and think that it's, you know, it's just too much to have to redo everything. Because it, you could look forward to having to redesign your base. That's a good thing. I got my first um, three three star one hundred percent Lelonian by building my base. And seeing how how yeah. you had to place everything, so you understand it more. Right. Okay. So and then, but now the other part, which is, this is a uh, this could be one of the biggest problems that I see, is it may influence even more players to hang on to their engineered mindset. And not put the not put the infernal towers on the base because it's just not the same defense that it used to be. And for the for all of the serious players, we most of us don't want to see more engineered bases. We want to see less. So hopefully they have all this stuff considered. Uh, and now, last point I wanted to make is it would make a lot of sense watching all these troops get buffed and the, the and the infernal towers get nerfed and the expos get nerfed if. They were to introduce a new defense to Town Hall 10. Or a new base in all new levels. A new Town Hall level? Yeah, because if they do that, then they have they have breathing room. They have room to, to up, up all these defenses. Right, well, uh, yeah, see, and, and this, this this shows you the, you know, this, this goes and shows you how even big successful companies like Supercell may change their mind because they want because before they wanted to make a strong definition they wanted to define town hall tens from town hall nines so there was a big separation between town hall nines and tens and they liked that they liked it they wanted it there to, there to be a jump from town hall nine into this you know you succeeded you made it to town hall 10 now they're trying to take away that and trying to blur the lines between town hall nine and ten so where people just end up at Town Hall 10 without thinking about it because it's so much easier to attack a Town Hall 10. And they have two troops there that we want, like the bowlers and the miners. Oh, right, right. As far as Town Hall 10, right. what you get in Town Hall 10. Right. So that that could be it. We could have another defense coming. They haven't mentioned anything about it yet. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't. But that would, be, that would explain a lot if there was any defense coming. So... 
that's about it on the Inferno Towers. Now we're just going to have to wait and see exactly how it plays out. There's been tons of speculation on how good or bad it's going to be. I think everyone's pretty much, I've watched a bunch of videos, everyone's pretty much said the same thing. The casual player is going to really enjoy it. The serious war player is going to really struggle trying to wrap their head around their number one defense in Town Hall 10, not having the same effectiveness as it did before. And they'll lay awake at night thinking about Hog Riders 3 starting their base. <laughs> with a heal spell over because the Infernos. And the, and the bomb's not killing them either. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Put a hero there and get over it. <laughs> no. Easy, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. It's fun hanging out with you guys. I'm going to go and I'm going to try to learn all about this update since I was put in the dark all week. <laughs> yeah, this, there is more to it. There is the um, clan games, which if we didn't get one to in this video, which is another whole part of the update. Isn't What's that? that? Uh, well, we can't go in. Don't have time. We're at 25 minutes. Oh, wow. People's attention span are 10. So we're about 15 minutes over. Even so 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so appreciate everyone for watching until the end. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys. I enjoyed making it. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.